Today's pattern is the Hornberg dry fly. Hornberg is, is a great imitator of anything from a caddis to a, a drake mayfly, depending on what, you know, what you're fishing for. We're going to be starting with a 2x long dry fly hook. I'm going to be using uh, black thread on this. This happens to be an 8 aught black thread. The body is gold, silver, uh, mylar. We're using the silver for the body. I, hold, I like to hold it on the side away from me, looking at the color that I'm going to be using. It. We're going to work it up, up towards the front, making sure everything gets covered evenly. For the underbody, or in the underwing, we take a bit of yellow calf tail. I'll lay it on top so it's oh, about as long as the mallard wing will be, maybe a, a hook gap longer than the hook. For the wing we take a pair of mallard, matching mallard flank feathers or body feathers, uh, flank feathers for larger patterns and the body feathers for size 10 and lower. And just kind of pinch that, pinch that on the side. Make sure that they, they match up really nice. For the hackle, we mix a, a brown, a brown and a grizzly together. Just put, put one on top of the other. I like to always put the grizzly on top. That way if it, if it turns, when I'm tying, I can tell whether it's turned on me or not. So we just tie that on the near side. Cover all the, cover the whole thing up with black. And then I like to use the rotary function. When I've got this, I wrap both feathers at the same time. Tie them off. Pull back the fiber so you won't trap anything. Make a nice head. Whip finish. And it's all tied. Now we're going to take, going to take some head cement and just just touch that top part there, so it's got that nice nice shape to it. Put another drop on the head.
And that's it. Hornberg dry fly.